Well, I'm shooting the Taurus Tracker and 357 Magnum, and I've been impressed with this gun shooting steel plates. We've been having some fun with it. But now what I'm gonna do is attempt to try and harvest an antelope with it out on the prairie. I'm just gonna shoot one round at a time at the 100 yard target. Now I'm shooting basically open sights, but I am using a rest here on the bog pod to just help me hold the gun a little steadier because this is what I'm gonna be using when I'm in the field. All right, are you clear? Let's do this. Felt good. Holy smokes! <laughs> That's open sights. <laughs> That's open sights with a pistol. I've got one touching the black. I've got one about three inches low. Man, that is unbelievable. That's the tracker. I just loading and shooting one round at a time. But uh, that's pretty impressive. That's the Taurus tracker. And uh, at 100 yards, open sights, I'm shooting the Hornady ammo out of that. That's the uh, 357 Magnum 158 grain XTP. And that is pretty darn impressive for 100 yards with a handgun. I'm impressed. I think we're ready to go try and get an antelope. The windstorm skipped, kicked up, and it is unbelievable how bad the wind's blowing. We're uh, going to try make maybe one more stalk, and then we're going to call her quits. Oh, we got some antelope about 400 yards off. I doubt this is going to work. We made a couple other stalks that haven't worked. It's hard to even call it stalking, really, when it's flat as a pancake out here. But basically what we're counting on is that buck is rutted up. He's got a group of does with him. So they're, uh, he's more worried about those does than us. We're gonna just try and angle, kind of quarter past him and see if we can work in range of a shot. All right, that buck's getting nervous. Let's set up right here. Let's set up right here. I'm gonna hold on the hind quarter on the one on the left. See the two together? You hit She's hit. Watch her. Watch her. Which one is she? Right there going dead away. She's gonna go down. She just dropped! Did you see that? 132 yards, Taurus 357! Woo! <laughs> I feel like John Wayne! That was awesome! <laughs> Holy smokes, man! That was a shot! <laughs> Listen to me, you know, I gotta brag it up a little bit. I mean, that was kind of cool. Gosh, we got a little bit of a wind today. We had a windstorm blow through earlier that was crazy. Like, literally, I was like, I'm not gonna shoot in this wind. And then it's died down a little bit now. We still probably have a good, I don't know, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind, something like that. And uh, it's kind of quartering a little bit. Man, I can't wait, let's go look at her. She went right up on this ridge. You see her split off from the other ones? I could see blood coming out the other side. That was awesome. It looked like it pretty solid right in the chest. Oh man. All right, it was right up. Here's the ridge. You can see the truck way back there. We shot from over there. She went right up here. <laughs> and there is my first antelope with a handgun. That is awesome! <laughs> oh, 
232 yards with open sights. Tell me how cool that is. Dude, that's awesome, man. <laughs> I feel like John Wayne. <laughs> Pow! <Field> pop. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that shot at 132 yards. Seriously, look at this. Look. Look at my shot right here. Can you see that? Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what the 357 did to this doe at 132 yards. Went completely through her. Look at my exit right here. Look at this. I think people that shoot a handgun are gonna be interested in this. Look at the exit wound. This is where it came out, right here. But you can see, look at all the blood coming out there. That's a solid lung shot on this doe at 132 yards. The blood coming out of the mouth, the frothy blood coming out of the mouth, indicative of a solid lung shot. We've got wind, so I actually aimed farther back. I even whispered to Cole, I'm gonna hold back a little bit to account for this wind. And I absolutely pinned a doe at 132 yards with a Taurus 357 tracker. That is seriously exciting. You know, this worked out great too, because wide open country, these antelope are in the rut. And because they're in the rut, we were able to slip up. The buck was kind of preoccupied with the does. When I set up the bog pod, you could see that was about as close as they were gonna let us get. 132 yards, I hit him with the Nikon rangefinder. I was like, it's a long shot, we've got a little breeze, but I'm gonna hold for wind. I held right about here, and it drifted that bullet and put it right in the lungs. I was really impressed with this gun, shooting steel plates with it. And then when we took it to the range and shot it yesterday, well, holy smokes, there's not much else to say. I mean, I shot a four inch group at 100 yards with open sights. So when I had a 132 yard shot, I felt pretty confident that I could get the antelope. And it turns out, it worked out. That is absolutely awesome.